Hey everyone, I'm John Garcia. You might know me from the Minute Vlog, a thing I do. If not, there'll be an annotation. Anyway, I'm not doing a vlog, I'm playing a game. Pokemon, Pokemon, it's a Jigglypuff and King. Go check it out, but it's not gonna win, cause it's just a Jigglypuff. It's Pokemon. Do -do -do -do. Do, 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 do. Anyway, yes, this is Pokemon Blue, uh, one of the first Pokemon games released in the United States. Uh, for those of you not familiar with Pokemon, but familiar with me, uh, this is going to serve as an introduction to the world of Pokemon! Uh, standing, of course, for Pocket Monsters, um, because the Japanese like abbreviating stuff? Uh, yeah, that was Professor Oak, whatever. But yes, they're basically monsters. Uh, eventually, you'll see how you fit them in your pocket, but whatever. Um, Pokemon are used for pets and fights, but not for other- well, no, they're used for plenty of other things. Anyway, my name! Uh, usually when I get a protagonist in a video game, I like to name them after a uh, protagonist in whatever series I'm reading or watching. So, I didn't know whether to go with Ted, because I'm watching How I Met Your Mother, or Jim, because I'm watching, uh, No Ordinary Family, which unfortunately was cancelled, but it's still a very good show in its own right. So I went with Jed. Good old country boy, and I'm Jed. And then this is my rival. I said the first person who uh, found my channel could name my rival. So, um, Ant Morfield uh, found him and decided he didn't know if he wanted to go with uh, Kane or Terry. So, since we combined names for, the, for my protagonist, let's name him Train. That is. That's a cool name. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put that out there. That it's a cool name. Uh, anyway, yes. Uh, oh, and, and he said we've been rivals since I don't know if you, you saw. It. it said we've been rivals since we were babies. I'm trying to imagine ra babies uh, being rivals. I don't know. It's just kind of a funny image in my head. Shrink Ray. Ugh, this game has such good music. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Yeah, but uh, speaking of SNES, I'm playing this on an emulator. It was originally for the Game Boy, uh, and I do have the game somewhere. Um, actually, probably left it at my parents' house. But for the sake of recording, I, I, I used it on an emulator, um, which is supposed to be illegal unless you actually have it. But since I do have it, yeah. Um, I have a potion. You can store them in your PC since there's a big item uh, limit. In this game that's annoying. There's a movie, Four Boys Walking on a Railroad Track. I think that's a reference to an actual movie, uh, Stand By Me, if I'm not mistaken, and what she just said, too. Um, but I've never actually seen the movie. Maybe I should, because I mean, it's referenced in Pokemon. How bad it could it be? And this is Pallet Town, and there's my house. I have a sign that's put up that's my house, like the name of me, not like my mom or my last name. And that's my rival's house. That's not my rival, that's a girl. And there are no girls in Pokemon. Well, not yet. Eventually. Um. Do -do 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 -do. Yes, um. And there are only three houses in Pallet Town, so apparently this girl and that guy are homeless, uh, which kind of sucks for them. But he's, uh. He's Technology is incredible! I, I don't know why I think that he's Elmer Fudd. Um. But yeah, doo -doo -doo. Hey, there's my rival. He's got a baseball cap because it's the 90s. And uh, and he says yo and calls his grandfather Gramps uh, because he's a douchebag. Or because it's the 90s. Probably both. Anyway, if you go into the grass, Oak says, wait, don't go out, and then teleports over there because, I mean, he was nowhere in town. It's unsafe. Why do Pokemon live in tall grass? Yeah. They do. That's how you find them. Um, most of the time, you can go in the grass, find wild Pokemon, and try and capture them, and then they become your your Pokemon. Uh, try not to think too hard about it. Um, but uh, I don't have a Pokemon yet, so he's gonna give me a Pokemon. Let me think. Oh, that's right. I told you to come. Just wait. Here, Jed. There are three Pokemon here. Ha <laughs> ha. They are inside the Pokeballs. Yeah. See. Uh, Pokeballs, some sort of technology that makes uh, Pokemon really small so you can fit them in your pocket! Oh, <laughs> get get it? Okay. Apparently he lost all his Pokemon because he's old. I don't I don't get it. 
<clears throat> excuse me, I had snot in my nose. Um, but we can choose between these three Pokemon, these starter Pokemon. Uh, there's Charmander, which obviously prefers hot places because it's on fire. I mean, duh. Um, probably the most powerful of these starters, but I'm not going to choose it. Um, Bulbasaur, which has little Mickey Mouse ears, I noticed. Uh, has a nice Japanese pun in its name, uh, in its Japanese name, uh, that I'll go over later. And Squirtle! It's the most adorable little turtle! I have to choose this, just, well, it's Pokemon Blue. I mean, Blue, Water, po it's Blue Turtle, obviously. Um, and it's really energetic, yay! Um, and of course I'm gonna nickname it, because you don't, like, call your dog dog, unless you're really weird. Um, a friend of mine told me to name one of my Pokemon after Indiana Jones for some reason, so you can imagine a turtle and a fedora and a, with a whip or something. Um, but I don't know what I'm going to name my other Pokemon. Well, I do have the name for the, my first two Pokemon in mind. Um, so tell me what you want to name Pokemon in case I get them. I already know my uh, what I want as my team, but, you know, whatever. I'll take this one then. He always takes the Pokemon that's strong against yours. Pokemon have elemental affinities like Squirtles, Water... Uh, which obviously would be good against fire, because water puts out fire, uh, grass, etc. You know, grass absorbs water, or something like that. And here's the first battle of the game, where Jed will try and beat you up. You don't get to train for this battle, which can make it somewhat difficult. I mean, if you lose, it's no big deal. But if you win, you know, that's nice. <laughs> oh man, excuse me again. Nose is full of stuff. Uh, anyway, Bulbasaur's Japanese name... Uh, is Fushigidane, I think, which basically means uh, mysterious bulb, but it also means what is that? So I thought that, that that's kind of cool. And Turtle's, er, Turtle, Squirtle's name is Zenigame, which just means pawn turtle, which is a terrible, it, that's terrible, that's a stupid name. Um, with, but Squirtle is just a brilliant name. I mean, Squirt for the water, Turtle because it's a turtle. And, and also it's kind of got an element of squirrel because it's tails like a squirrel's and it's squirt because it's tiny. It's just such a good, just uh, such a solid name. Solid etymology there, guys. Bulbasaur, obviously a bulb on a dinosaur. Charmander, char, like fire and salamander. Yeah, whatever. Um, but in this battle, basically the strategy you should use is just attack, attack, attack. Um, these moves lower your opponent's stats. Um, tail whip for a squirtle and growl for a Bulbasaur and Charmander. But, um, they're not really that useful, uh, because, uh, oy vey, this is getting down to the wire. Because, yeah, you can just kill your opponent. Uh, well, not kill, faint them, knock them out. Um, no, we're not killing people, we're just damaging them until they pass out from the pain. That's, that's much nicer. Uh, way to be humane. Anyway, I believe the wrong Pokemon! Oh, whatever. Actually, uh, I think Charmander has a stronger attack. Uh, yeah, because he has Scratch, and it's hard, It's stronger than Tackle. Because uh, apparently, scratching someone will hurt them more than a full-body Tackle. Uh, yeah, logic. Um, but then you could squirt on you. Look at him. He's so adorable, you know, Indiana. Ah, I just think he's adorable. Anyway, uh, now that we've got Squirtle, we can do all sorts of things. But that'll probably have to wait for next time, because I think uh, I'm at, like, nine minutes here. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you did... Um, then you should subscribe to me, uh, and, uh, leave comments and stuff. Uh, have a nice day, everybody.